All right, gonna make one more real quick video here tonight. Uh, just showing one more tool I made. Uh, this is an electric etcher. I uh, found some uh, schematics online. Uh, I want to say it was Chris Crawford's website. Uh, I could be wrong on that. But uh, one of the knife makers out there, uh, he's pretty well known. He had some schematics. So I went ahead and uh, put this together one night. I uh, made a couple minor changes, nothing too big. I uh, made my own little alligator clips here with some banana plugs and uh, some corresponding sockets. I just got some toggle switches. Uh, one darkens, one etches, or switches from uh, AC voltage and DC voltage. Uh, then I got uh, two settings. That's one modification I made. Uh, his was only uh, 24 volts, I believe. But uh, I went ahead and uh, used the center tap on the transformer, so I have 24 volts and 12 volts. And then you just got your on-off switch here. Uh, other thing I did was I added a little neon for the power light, just to show uh, when it was turned on. Uh, probably not completely necessary, but you know who doesn't like a little light every now and then. Just got some labels. I uh, had a label maker. Went ahead and labeled everything. Uh, put some rubber feet on the bottom. I got a little quick change a fuse holder in the back. It's a power cord, a little rubber grommet to kind of hold it in place. Uh, here's my uh, etching pad I made. It's just a piece of mild steel that I milled up. Uh, tapped it for a little screw there uh, for the ground clamp to uh, clamp onto. Uh, ran a screw through the middle here to uh, attach this oak dowel rod. Just got some felt uh, from the fabric store. Rubber band that on there. I uh, just got some extra felt, rubber bands. Uh, I also got some Q-tips. I had read that some guys just use Q-tips uh, with the clamp. Uh, clamp the end of the cotton swab, dip it in your solution, and you can actually use that uh, to etch your knife blades if need be. Uh, just to show you the inside, I got the screws out. Uh, real simple to wire, as you can see, uh, just a few wires. You got your uh, 24 volt transformer, a little, I believe that's a bridge rectifier uh, to convert your AC to DC. Uh, had some heat sinks laying around from some other projects I've taken apart in the past, televisions and whatnot. So I went ahead and recycled one of those and uh, put that all together. Uh, real simple to follow the schematic. Uh, if you're familiar with those at all. I uh, just got a little project box from Radio Shack. I think I got pretty much all of this from Radio Shack. Uh, I want to say for maybe like 40 bucks, 45, uh, I put everything together. So quite a bit cheaper than buying one. Uh, and it should theoretically do about the same thing as your... Uh, you know, professional models. Uh, it's just real simple. Uh, three switches. I mean, it's not like a variable voltage or anything, but definitely good enough to uh, etch a little maker's mark on your blade with. So hopefully, I'll be using that on the uh, handful of knives I'm going to start making here. I uh, may have to get some stencils. I haven't gotten those yet. Uh, I don't know if I want to try to make them myself or just uh, order them from someone who knows a lot more about it than I do. I uh, have to stay tuned for that. But uh, anyway, that's just a quick overview of the electric etcher I made. Uh, nothing too fancy. But, uh, hopefully that'll get the job done when the time comes. Alright, that's all for now. Bye.